all in all, we collected poop for two and a half hours. It was for this project. I'm not gonna explain exactly why we did it, but it was like, I don't know, 15 students and we collected for two and a half hours, a total of 175 pounds of dog shit. <laughs> it was actually illuminating to see like how much poop is just sitting in the world around there. It was kind of crazy. Uh, but it was also just disgusting and I'm happy we don't have to do that again. I'm gonna go get a workout right now and then shower. Very excited for that shower. And then I'm having over a good friend that I don't think I've really properly introduced to the vlog. So I'm excited. <laughs> beer's ever been opened in my house. <laughs> you are a true expert. Beer's not gonna drink itself, right? <laughs> That's what they always say. That's what they say. Dude, that was impressive. Welcome to uh, Drinking with John Jamal. I'm here to convince you that my ideology is worth being supported to the degree that you help me figure out how to vlog. And, actually, though? and we actually spread ideas that change the world. Because what I've come to realize, Shit. what it's I've come a, to realize it's a is this, good idea. is that you cannot, no matter what, you cannot change anything in this country unless you make people want to, want to change yeah, things, make, make, make people make, want to care yep. about things. And I think I've come up with some excellent arguments that can lead the, you know, my target demographic will be tall white males who are in power because, you know, that's what we, who we gotta convince. That's I just whipped together a really random but awesome dinner. We have greens, we have a bunch of just boiled veggies. This is the most random part. It is black beans, pasta, nutritional yeast, and tomato sauce. And then we have potato fries. And John Jamal's here drinking a Shinerbach because, you know, sometimes you gotta have John Jamal over. And I'm not gonna drink beer because I think it tastes like poison. I can see the sound waves. <laughs> that is a real human being. You gotta be a long-term fan of everything in life. Whether or not it's a sports team, whether or not it's yourself, whether or not it's your mental health, whether or not it's, you know, your GPA, you, you have to focus on the long-term because the short-term you're gonna have failures, you're gonna have successes, and no matter what, a flower cannot bloom all year long. That was beautiful. You're beautiful. Like flower. Like flower in there, though. <laughs>
<laughs> I love you, man. Love you too, man. You're great. Um, yeah, okay. I'll, I'll uh, we'll be in touch. Yeah, we'll, we'll um, talk more about definitely everything keep, we discussed tonight. I mean, the questions I'm gonna have in the future are gonna be basically. All right, baby. Oh God, you just hit Chicken Man. No, I hit the whole, the whole thing. The whole thing. Hey, I'm drinking. Right. I had two beers, Jackson. Don't say. don't get too crazy. Oh, is it snowing still? I don't think so. Look at that, baby. Life on the rado. Yeah. Don't get no softer. All right, peace out, man. Good, peace, good. Peace, peace. Yeah, see ya. It's pretty than vegan. <laughs> it's nothing. Long-term fan. <laughs> he's on to something, man. He's got a lot of good ideas. Uh, he's trying to figure out his place in the social activist world. I think a lot of people can relate to that. They have a message, whether it's veganism, a more political message, and they want to spread it to the masses, but don't exactly know how. So he asked me for advice, which is kind of cool. I'm going to Boulder, Colorado tomorrow for the next like two days. Got a lot of fun stuff planned, some meetups, some podcast interviewing. And I'm going to a, what my friend told me is a hardcore Pilates class tomorrow morning so i've never done that before that should be interesting but i'm gonna get uh some rest much love dream extreme god dang it he left his beard.